Welcome back to another episode of Teen Angels Magazine And you're watching Roach Your Roach TV And Yeah, so just by looking at the cover you can tell that um, You know, there's so much stuff going on The border looks freaking nice The flowers, the roses The little vine going all the way around And, you know, just little intricate designs You have um, the little payaso on the corner Looks like he's a madman. He's just gonna like, he just has his gun and he's just like laughing. And the, you know, the, the staple, smile now, cry later, and two skulls. Um, but something that's really interesting is the lamppost to me because it's, um, there's no words on the part of the sign that usually has the street name. So I'm assuming right there. The person that bought the magazine could write whatever they want. And and then, you know, looking at the girl. Well, even behind her, she has like four aces and a, and a joker card. I don't play cards, so I don't know what the hell four aces means, but I'm assuming it's really good. And, and yeah, so going back to the girl... Again, I give my respects to the original artists. And this one down here, it says Mejia. So, um, you know, with my other magazines, we've seen that Mejia is, um, is a person that, or an artist that does a lot of artwork for Teen Angel, or a lot of his artwork appears in Teen Angel. And... Prior to this, I would have thought Teen Angel did everything, but apparently a lot of it had to do with um, other artists submitting in artwork. And the the placement of the girl's shoulder and her back, ooh, so good. Because usually I go on Instagram and I see a lot of people that try to capture this this essence or the aesthetic. And the shoulder placement is always like too high, too low. Sometimes it looks like the the drawing of the girl has a, dis, a dislocated shoulder. And it's really hard to draw a girl looking over her shoulder and behind her. Kind of like what she's doing right now. So when I see this, that's just on the, on the shoulder placement. But then her hand, her hand is good. Man, a lot of time you see people um, drawing hands and the thumbs look like wieners or the fingers look like little like Twinkies and it's like, ugh, what happened, man? But this one looks so good. The The hand is like very in a feminine pose and even the fingers, they look like, um, it looks really believable. And then... Moving on to like her face and the ba and the and the bandana she's wearing. Very well done, dude. Um, I feel this is a style that since I follow Chuco Moreno on Instagram, I see a, a lot of that style that he does. It looks like this, and um, in color it looks really cool, man. The the cheekbones look cool. The hair looks cool. It looks like it's yellow and orange. And even the, the bandana has like pink. Pink, yellow, blue. Very creative. Versus, um, you know, people just with the, just paint the black and white. Just some um, ink on the paper. But when you add the color, man, that's what really, I think the color on, on the Teen Angels magazine cover. Ooh just draws your attention and you pay more attention to Teen Angels magazine than anything else that you're going to see on the on the magazine rack but yeah that's why I freaking love these covers man so shout out to Mejia and let's get into it sorry okay you got two drawings on the left you got Lon lonely Latino Scorpio and I think uh, 
he's he's looking for for another person seeking a warm friendship correspondence with either latina asian latina asian or indian women must be strong mature intelligent beautiful open-minded proud spontaneous with long dark hair so so for a photo and a very special drawing send your friendship your photo too and it has his address scorpio victor ponce um Cannon City, Colorado. So this fool wants you to drop into his DMs, but first you gotta. Oh well, you have his address direct, so you can send him a letter, a picture. It's pretty interesting. On the right side, you got a a drawing. I think that was done by Teen Angel. And. And yeah, man, just looking at the top where the words are at, there's little angels, the shading, it looks like it's done with like stippling or kind of like scribbling in the background. And you got your roses, the, the drama masks, and a shirtless woman in a sick ass peacock. Combining into a rose tattoo. And in this little paragraph, I don't know if you guys read it, but it basically says that Teen Angel is giving a voice to people from the barrios. Um, it's their First Amendment right to to have access to freedom of speech, including with, um, with print or, um, you know, with magazines. And... It says Teen Angel or his staff may not really agree with their views. They're just doing this because um, they want to give a platform to the young people from the barrios. And that's a little paragraph. And then you continue. And this, like this magazine, I did look through it and I did notice that there was a there was a lot of just black and white um, drawings or letters or writing, and a lot of the pages look like this, where there's um, like a collage of pictures into one page or letters. And before I bought my first Teen Angels magazine. I thought a lot of them were going to be like more more colored pages like the front cover but a lot of it is just pure black and white marker on paper and they scan it and send it in yeah and um a lot of this stuff i can't read real quick you know after it takes me like a good five minutes to to read something but so that's why I, I'm not gonna focus too much on the on the words. And you should be able to to read everything. Locos X3 You got the pen pals Tina and Gloria from Sacramento Patty and Anna from Palmdale Crazy as Miss Playful from Santana it says, uh, Crazy Ass Miss Playful from Santana, live in Tustin. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I've never, I've never seen the word Tustin in a, in a magazine before. Jesus Christ. And these are all poems or letters that address other readers
This one has a lot of stuff on it. I see flats, Bloque, Colton, Ontario, Black Angel, Sunkissed Street, Pomona. Wasted, Wasted Something, Wasted San Diego, The Playboys, Newbury Park, and The Pen Pal. And these are all dedications that that they wrote on the Teen Angel stationery paper and then sent it in. And this is a, a page that I would have really liked to see in color. The bottom, the bottom right is Anaheim, Anaheim Jungle, OC, and the little star. A TVR, D13, Soy Wolfie, V, V Clanton. Got the Little Locos, Southern Nevada, Rio Grande, Texas, some, some masks, La Diez Trece, a dedication, rest in peace, Kyle, and it's a poem. And then a Teen Angels little ad, and on the bottom you got G Ortega and his PO box number. I think he also wants people to write to him. Shit, we have her on silent. I'll be back. And I'm back. Yeah, and so you got um, more dedications drawing on the bottom right on the bottom left I mean and you got Toonerville 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 I can't read this in the bottom <laughs> my bad all right and then you got clips or CLPS and dedications mafiosos playboys and mm -hmm. Tunerville, 13, Casper, V1 Rolo, did I skip anything, no I didn't, dedications, or th these are the stationary papers that you could, I guess you could you know, take out the staples, take out the pages, write on the dedication, send it to Teen Angels. Or send it to someone, send it to a person. More Teen Angels. Again, they're just giving you instructions on how to, how to send it to Teen Angels. And it looks like they use a computer to type all this out. These are three different poems. And then my favorite section, the colored images. Florence, Florence, Florencia, 
El Barrio Players 13, Surside. This is Mr. Spanky. You got Jesse David Corrente from Calipatria. Ricky Jenkins from Crescent City. Jenkins, Jenkins, Jenkins. What kind of name originates from Jenkins? And you have cool colored stationary paper. And these are a little bit more on the spicy side to send to your secret admirer. And these are these are just some um, names of people in their gang. And then here we have the centerfold. And the centerfold is drawn by. Oh no, I don't see a signature. But it's freaking sick. You got an Aztec dude, pyramid in the background, the sun. Both the man and the female are pretty much naked, except for the little cloths covering their private parts, but that's pretty cool. You got a dragon on the bottom with some with like a a ribbon to add some text. And this is something that I really appreciate from or another part that I appreciate from this magazine or Teen Angels in general is that you won't you won't see this like on Google on Google Images if you search up like Aztec Warrior. Like that this is a, a, a drawing that you won't see on there. Or like Aztec Princess. You you know you won't see this. So there are some things on on Google that you cannot find because they're just too hidden. Too much of a hidden gem, and I think this is one of them. And I was mistaken. The guy's signature is right here, and of course it's Mejia. And you know, I just gotta. I don't know. I, I don't know, man. I just gotta pay my respects to Mejia one day. It'll be cool to meet him in person, and yeah, I feel like Mejia can have his own, his own art magazine or his own art issue. That'd be cool with just like a magazine filled with his art. You got more pen pals. On the bottom right, it says Puro Wetback Power Gang. Puro Wetback, Puro Wetback Power Gang. And you got work, some lettering that I can't read. And I think I've seen wet, the Webback Power Gang and, and other Teen Angel, Teen Angel magazines, but I think this is the first obvious time that I really see it. And then you got the other half of um, colored pictures that people send in. And yeah, just really, it's really nice women's. My favorite one is the one on the bottom left from Colorado. It says, Pen Pals write to the lovely Lin Linda Venegas, the Denver, Colorado. She got her whole nurse outfit. Hell yeah. Teresa Lucero, you know, all the Teresas are low key. They're low key the ones. And then on this side, you got the homeboys. You got Shy, Shy Boy Toker, 18 CDRS, 13, 13, 13, Westside 13, Street. Oh no, this is 18. Never, my bad. It's all 18th Street. Yeah, he's even holding the jersey 18. So 18th Street.
Yeah, this is the era of um, Belones. In the picture, everyone's pretty much Belon. It's cool to see the history of how a style or a lifestyle or the way people dress change changes. These are po poems. This guy's name is Kelvin. I still miss you. Tu amiga que te quiere. Beatriz. La triste angelita. Yeah, right. And we'll gotta continue. And then it says below is a list of cities and towns all across the USA that have stores that sell Teen Angels. We also have a uh, mail orders customers and stores in Mexico, Central America, and many other areas from all over. Dang, I didn't know they sold Teen Angels outside of USA. But that's freaking cool. Um, dude, Teen Angels looks like um, they were really really powerful to have your magazine in that many places these fools were putting in work you got united in insane empire and all their names and a dedication with death and and a brick wall that looks pretty cool and uh, actually I've never seen a lettering like that it looks kind of like kind of like blocks letters but inside there's like a spider web that's that's freaking cool little locos 13 this is Tony Perez, Nevada State Prison, Northtown, Las Vegas. More dedications. More from Colton Bloque, RIP. Some more drawings and names, dedications. The bunny one is pretty funny. Looking for love, baby. This looks like a, a poem. And these are all ads that I guess um, sell Teen Angels. Sophia. And the artist, Silent. And I can't read the other one, the other name under it because it's so small but I guess this page was all done by silent he cannot speak he is silent it says happy birthday Jessica Medina and these are all really cool drawings for stationary paper right here it says beach flats Aslan And she has tattered on her arm, pen pal. <laughs> and here we have um, the the hit ups that Teen Angel provides. And damn, they filled every the the one on the bottom left filled up every single empty space with. Well, they filled it all up with their names. Cool, cool, cool. Here's 
Here you got 12 Joker, SFCG, RIP Ant Man, THL, IE. SED, TSEDV, ah, this is Tunerville, Rifa, Sur Trece, a cool, clean, whole page stationary paper. And you got Phoenix, Arizona on the right. Trucha, pinches ratas. If you can't hang, don't, don't bang. Puro, puro doble LA gang or puro doble gang. Sick. Imagine getting hit up through through Teen Angels. <laughs> Damn. Here's Teen Angels wishing or thanking everybody. You got a, you got a, a lady with a peacock in her hair. That's pretty creative. And then I think this says Soy Menu, Southside WBP. Locos, uh, I can't read that last symbol, but once again, we have wetback power. Wetback power. Here we have, um, again, put a wetback power. Okay, now I know what these letters are under wetback power W B C 13. Ah. I can read. He knows how to read. We got a little drawing. Orale Vatos. We got more drawings, more little poems, and loving memory of Kyle, R.I.P. Kyle McCormick. You got Mark A. Sanchez, P.O. Box, something Texas, Smiley, 97, 98, question mark. How much more time will he do? Find out next time on the next Teen Angels. We got Lighter Shader Brown in stores now. And that's it, folks. Thanks for watching another episode of Teen Angels Magazine. And we're ending it right here. With some ad, some drawings as ads. And that's issue number 150. And yeah, um, that's it. Peace out. Watch out for the next video.